Active Data allows you to tag rows and then manipulate those rows as a group. When you tag a row, Active Data creates a column on the right hand side of your sheet called Tags and places a plus sign in the row that you tagged. You can configure Active Data to tag rows by double clicking in the Tag column for the desired row. Once you have your rows tagged, you can manipulate them in various ways. Here I'm going to invert the tags, that's reverse the rows that are tagged with the rows that are not tagged, and then invert it again to flip the tags back. I'll clear these tags and then show you some other ways of tagging rows. Here we can tag them by a column value. We can select the column, in this case product number. The condition that we'd like to tag for, we'll just keep it at equals and the value that we're searching for, which is product number 1. This will tag all of the items in the sheet where product equals 1. We can double click the tags column name to sort the sheet by tag and group all of the tags together. Next I'm going to take all of the tag rows and move them into a new sheet. This is done by selecting the move tags command, clicking on the new sheet button, and then entering a name for the new worksheet. All of the tags are moved into the new sheet. You can convert tag rows to selected rows by using the select tag rows command. You can further manipulate these items as you would with any other selected cells in Excel. You can search for tagged rows by using the Find Tags command. Here we'll go to the last tag, which is at the bottom of the sheet, and to the previous tag, which is a page up, and back to the first tag, which is at the top of the sheet. Another way of tagging rows is tagging by example. This is similar to the query by example feature, but the rows are tagged as opposed to being extracted. Here we're going to tag all rows where the day of the invoice date is equal to 31. And we can see that we have tagged all of the invoice dates for the 31st day of each month. We can also tag rows by using a formula. This is similar to the query by formula. Here we'll click the formula button. Then we'll enter our criteria, which is amount greater than or equal to a thousand. And Active Data will tag all of the rows that meet this criteria. We can also tag rows based on list matching. This is done by selecting the Tag Rows by Match command. Here we'll select the Product Number field, click the Range button, select the Product sheet, and then highlight a list of products that we'd like to match on. Active Data will now tag all of the rows that contain one of those product numbers. We can also tag rows by searching for text within a particular column or within any column. Here we're going to get active data to tag any row where the description contains the word Excel. You can use tagging to isolate specific rows in your sheet. Here we want to select the detail rows using the tag rows with a similar format to the current row. This allows you to extract detail items and remove things like headers and footers and subtotals.